Hey, I'm Marsh from CNC Marine and welcome to the online boat building course where we're gonna run you right through the build of a 4210 Barra. Now the 4210 Barra has been designed to have everything in it that any of the bigger boats have. We're talking under deck fuel tank, uh, full height frame, stringers, everything. Both of these boats that I'm standing next to aren't the 4210 Barra, but I'm using them to show you a bit of an example um, and everything in it will be the same. So your kit is gonna arrive on a large pallet. It's all gonna be flat packed aluminium sheet. Now, all the parts are gonna be router cut out and they're gonna be marked with either a pen line or an etch line. Once you sort of get your parts, each sheet, you, will lay, you can lay them all up against the wall and then you can pull one sheet down at a time onto the pallet and cut out each of these little tabs. Now the parts are all held in with these, with these tiny little 20 millimeter tabs around the sheet. And then each part, once you chop it out, you can then put it up against the wall. You want to kind of think about the parts that go against the wall and have them come out as you need them. So a good idea is to go through your drawings and just like work your way backwards with what parts you actually need. So to start with, most of the parts come with lines marked for bend lines and then there will be a number there um, which will mark the bend angle. If you see here, this sort of part has already been bent and marked and there'll be a 90 on there, meaning that's a 90 degree bend. Um, also, the parts will be marked with their part number. So here you've got F1, which is frame one, that part. And then stuff like a cent, this will be a center line. Or in here, you've got lines to line up where your outboard brackets in this case line up. So some of the other lines here, we've got our hull sheets um, and we have our stringer lines. They're marked with, so you'll line up your string as the center of your stringer with the center of this line here. And then this shows you, you weld here, weld here, and then the other side has marks. You weld the other side, and then from here, it's weld all the way back. Uh, there's marks on to line up on the frame lines. All of the lines are, so frame aft of the line, but on the transom, you'll see that the transom actually sits forward of the line. That's gonna di differ between different designers and, and, um, and different kits, but all of the CNC Marine designs, that's how we work. Uh, you'll also have lines here where it'll be, where a deck line will line up, or you've got some marks for where pockets will be. Um, and then you'll also see your, um, your frame lines on your side sheets as well. So if we go through the drawings that you receive, you receive a pack with, with your kit. Um, there's sort of a GA and that's, that's fine. You've probably already seen that before. Your next drawing here is your plate expansion. It has every single part on it with its part number. A good idea is to just mark them off uh, with a highlighter and just check that you've got every single part before you throw away any scrap. <laughs> Um, what tends to happen is there's a lot of little parts and you'll end up throwing a part in the bin without noticing. It's also good just to check that everything actually came with the kit. So next we have our folded parts drawing. So folded parts, as well as having bend lines and the, um, the angle marked on the part, they also come with a, a bend drawing and it will sort of show all of that detail, but it'll also show some like overall dimensions to show how they need to um, finish up. So this is your extrusion list. Basically here you've got an order quantity. So this is something where you just go through and you'll check and tick off that you actually have everything. We always put in extra to make sure there's plenty to do everything you need. Um, but, but just check if it gets close, like if you need 1.9 and we're only including two, check that you're actually gonna be cutting the right parts in the right order to make sure you get the, um, the right uh, part utilization. Now it has every single, it'll have every single part here, every single extrusion and the cut length. Don't go through and just cut them all. Uh, because you, when you sort of go through and build, it might be like a mill off here and there. You don't want to just sort of go through and cut things. We're, these lengths are also based on like, well, if there's a mitre or something like that. So just cut them as you need them. 
So next we have our, our parts for bending list. So pretty self-explanatory, it's to your extrusions and it's just how to actually bend them. Now you can, with your sort of folded parts or your, your um, extrusion bends, you could send them out to an engineering shop or talk to us and, um, and we can help you with that as well. So with every CNC Marine kit, you'll get a group of assembly sequence drawings. Uh, it's just a step-by-step -step guide on how to build the kit. In this build course though, we're gonna follow a little bit of a different path and that's just to show, well, every builder is different and they have their own sort of ways of doing it. So this is Luke's way. So over the course of the next few videos, we're gonna go through everything uh, to put this kit together. We'll start with hull plates on the ground, um, pulling those up to frames, adding extra frames, adding your stringers, adding chines, doing your sort of transom arrangement. We're gonna go through uh, laying buoyancy foam, laying the deck, uh, preparing your parts, bending parts, uh, how to weld your fuel tank and how to bend the pipes, if, even if it's in your own uh, workshop. But before you start your own build, it's better to practice as much as you possibly can. And make sure you're confident with each stage before you move on. A great thing to do is to practice the types of welds that are gonna be in the boat. So, and practice using the scrap that you have. That means down, up, across, fillet welds, plug welds, and do that and get confident in each part before you start. So thank you for joining the Pure Plate community. If you have any questions or problems, comments down below, feel free to ask us, we're here to help you. Thank you.